Hello and welcome to this first video in a short course on number systems and binary. My name is James and I will be presenting this course. The purpose of the course is to prepare you for learning about digital electronics. It will also be of interest if you're studying computer science, digital signal processing, or simply if you have a desire to understand more of the workings of the technology which is all around us every day. In this course we will learn about some different numeral systems including the Hindu Arabic number system that we most often use today, systems in different bases and conversions between them. This is something that often causes students to struggle so I hope I'll be able to help you in this. The binary system base 2 because of its relevance to electronics. Binary can easily be represented and manipulated by electronics making the technology that we use today on a day-to-day -day basis possible various ways to represent binary numbers in electronics, arithmetic operations on binary numbers, the limits of this number system of which a designer and to some extent a user must be aware, and for enrichment some more advanced applications of this sort of coding which are not strictly binary but also have relevance in the world of electronics and computers. In today's video we will look at what constitutes a numeral system. A numeral system is a collection of symbols and rules for manipulating these symbols which would allow us to represent numbers and operations on those numbers which would be difficult otherwise. The simplest and most ancient form of numerals is called in modern language a unary because it consists of simply repeating one symbol a number of times to indicate what that number is. Unary numerals are still in use today though they are usually called tally marks. Their main application is the same as it was anciently, namely to count things. For example, these military pilots who use marks on the sides of their aircraft to count the number of missions flown, enemies defeated, even bombs dropped. Unary is very easy to use, especially for simple addition and subtraction calculations, because these calculations can be performed simply by adding more symbols or by taking them away. But it runs into a problem when large numbers are involved. Making and manipulating lots of marks takes time and space on your paper or your stone or even your aeroplane. A more sophisticated numeral system builds on unary by adding some abbreviations for common numbers. Certain numbers tend to come up quite often so it may be useful to have a shorthand way to represent them somehow. This is called sign value notation. Spoken languages also often handle numbers in this way. In many languages for example there is a special word for 12 in English called a dozen. Often food products are sold in groups of 12, eggs, breads, cupcakes, etc. It is useful to have a special symbol or word for this number. Incidentally, the reason that food products are often sold in dozens or twelves is that it divides very nicely into two, three, four and six. Another interesting example is the French language. In French, 99, this means 99, 80 means literally 420s, or in other words 80, 19 means 19, so 4 times 80 plus 19 is a way to represent 99. Perhaps the most famous example of a sign value notation is the Roman numeral system, which is still often used when the setting calls for something fancy. An example is this ornate clock on the outside of a church in Venezuela. It is also common in the media industry to represent dates in Roman numerals. The year 2017, for example, is represented as MMXVII. Two M's for 2000, X for 10, V for 5, and two I's for 2, totaling up to 2017. On the other hand, representing the year 1944 is a bit more complicated. Sign value systems such as Roman numerals are a much more compact way than unary number systems to represent large numbers with fewer symbols but they do not lend themselves especially well to making calculations with these numbers, especially considering the nuances of Roman numerals, for example when a small number is written to the left or the right of a bigger one, as in the example of 1944 or earlier. This can be a very confusing system and it's easy to make calculation mistakes if you're not careful, because essentially you need to convert to the actual number in your head, there's nothing in the notation system that really helps you in the calculation. A more sophisticated type of numeral system is called positional value. In this system, an, a limited number of symbols is used 
and the value that the symbols take depend not on the symbol themselves but on their position in the number. The numbers with which most Western people are familiar belong to this kind of a system. The symbols are called Hindu Arabic numerals after their Eastern inventors and the number system is called decimal from the Latin decim meaning 10 because it uses 10 symbols to represent all the numbers though when these symbols were invented there were only 9. The concept of zero was only invented, or perhaps it's better to say discovered, several hundred years after the other nine numerals were introduced. The concept is perhaps not as obvious as you might think. As an example, let's look at the number 1024. The four is in the rightmost place, known as the least significant digit. This represents four units. The two is in the second place, representing two tens or twenty. The third place represents hundreds, but there are none of these. The fourth place represents thousands, and there is one of these. The total is therefore 1024. Up to now, it is similar in concept to sign value systems, a little bit more compact maybe, and with the addition of a zero. The real strength of a positional value system is in arithmetic operations. Considering the following example, if I want to add 1,258,000 934 plus 47,104. Numbers represented by these symbols are very large, unimaginably large even, and yet by using the symbols according to a simple set of rules, I will be able to perform this very big calculation quickly and accurately. Let's have a look. Starting at the rightmost column, these are the least significant figures, 4 and 4 is 8. In the next column, 3 and 0 make 3. Now the next one is a bit more complicated, but only a bit. 9 and 1 make 10, but you can only write one digit per place or per column. So we put the 0 from 10 in the bottom, and the 1 goes at the top of the column to the left. This is called a carry. 8 and 7 and 1 makes 16, so the 6 goes at the bottom, while the 1 goes to the carry. 1 and 5 and 4 make 10, with the 0 going to the bottom and the 1 going to the carry. 1 and 2 make 3, and then 1 by itself is in the last column. Thus the final result is 1,306,038. Let's not take this for granted simply because it's something which gets taught to children in primary school. Just think about this. I've been able to add these two very large numbers together by manipulating these symbols while in my head I haven't needed to process any number bigger than 16. Very easy. In this instance I can add any two numbers together of any length and the largest number that I could possibly have to think about is 19 if for example a column had two nines in it with a carry from the previous column. Here are a few advantages of positional value systems. They use much less space than sign value systems to represent large numbers, and much, much less space than unary systems. The structure of the system makes arithmetic quite easy. As easy as manipulating the symbols according to a small number of rules, and the arithmetic operations are very scalable. Ten-digit numbers can be added together just as easily as three-digit numbers. It just takes a few more marks on your piece of paper. These advantages are exactly what makes positional value systems excellent for doing calculations with computers and electronics. Please bear these things in mind as we continue to learn about how numbers are represented and manipulated in upcoming videos. In the next video, we'll look at number systems other than decimal, that is, with bases other than 10. We'll understand why this is significant or useful, and how to convert numbers between these bases. Thank you very much for watching.